ground. And what is the term I use for ground techniques? Do you know? It starts with an in. Nawaza. Ne, Nawaza. Those are standing throwing techniques. So we're going to be working on Nawaza, which are ground techniques in Judo. There are three different categories or areas of ground techniques in Judo. We have Shimiwaza, which is what I mean? Shimiwaza? Sure. Choking techniques. We have Kensetsu Waza, which are arm locks. And then we have Osai Komi Waza, which are what we're going to be working on today. What, what's Osai Komi Waza? Pin. Pin. Good job. Pinning, pinning techniques, pinning hold downs, which we use in Judo. So just to clarify, you know, we use pins in sports Judo uh, to hold down for a win. We also use pins to control people, to set up uh, a submission, whether you're in a self-defense or just doing free roll judo where our, our true objective is to submit our opponent rather than following sports rules. So without further ado, let's start with Kesegatami, which is a very popular hold down. Ivy likes Kesegatami, which means a scarf hold down. And please bear with me once again, I'm a big guy. I'm like 270 and my daughter's a little smaller and I don't want to crush her so I, don't, I try not to put a lot of pressure. And during our quarantine, this is what we're stuck with. Our family, which is of course the best though. So Ivy's down, go ahead Ivy, your head here. We're gonna start off with Kei Sigatami. Just real quick, let's turn back a little bit. Here we go, so in Kei Sigatami, this is where our feet are gonna be in our legs and hands. We wanna get our knee up as high as we can, get the arm, uh, knee under the arm. I wanna get my butt, pressed against her ribs, chest on chest, and I wanna pull this arm up, pinch the elbow right here. So I have no space whatsoever in this position. Now, look at my front leg. It's here as a defensive mechanism to block any forward uh, bridging. And then I have my back leg here to block any back bridging. So if I put my foot here and Ivy sits up, sit up Ivy, Whoa, I'm gonna get swept, and then it comes down, and she goes and puts me in case you get top me. Ah, and I get stuck here, and I can't get it. Yeah. Whew, that's pretty good, pretty good. So once again, back down. So, uh, scoot, scoot, scoot. So, we're, so where are we placing everything? So knee is up high, arm is over the leg, this is around my waist. I want, I want this under here where I grab the elbow and pinch, I'm pulling a little bit. And these feet here, they're always dynamic and a little fluid, always moving a little bit. So if she's bucking me a little bit, I can move a little bit. You don't want to squeeze so hard that if you get bumped, you're going to be thrown off balance. You want to be able to move a little bit as like when you're riding a bull, just to compensate for the movement of her body. So knee up high arm above the knee. This is pulled up on the elbow tight. Now we have to have this right arm. Where's this right arm gonna go? Now, I don't wanna crush her here. So you want the right arm ultimately lifted by me. You want this ultimately up, and I'm gonna put my hand on my leg here, pulling this, and my ear to forehead. Now, we might not be able to put our hand here. We can do this. We can put it under here or here, because if she tries to arch right now, arch on your neck, can you arch? Put your head here and arch up. Can you arch up? No. But if I put my hand out here, can you arch a little bit? Here, let me show you what, real quick. Go ahead. This is arching. So this, real quick, so I can see, this is an arch. You see this, so how, how, how we can arch? Boom. Come back here again, did you see that? Yeah, so back down again. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. So, we have, I'm, I'm, I, have, I don't have any space in here. I wanna put my hand here, pulling on the elbow. Now, like I said, we might not be able to do this, so we can put it here or here, because if we have it here, she'll be able to arch. And ultimately, ear on forehead. So try to bump me, Ivy. Try to bump me, Boom. Now, this right hand here is a, mecha, a defensive mechanism that we can use. So if she, if she tries to arch me forward, arch me forward, I mean, boom. If she tries to throw me this way, when she does, I wanna, I wanna have this foot pushing and I'm gonna lift up and I'm gonna pull back a little bit, a little bit here. 
If she take me to your left, Ivy. Pull, grab around my waist. Both hands, both hands. Okay, now try to pull me over. If she tries to pull me over, this is my reaction. I want to lift up with my head. I want to pull back. Pull me that way, pull me that way. Both hands, both hands. Pull me that way, and have this hand here. So if I get bumps here, I have this hand here. And then when she turns back into me, turn into me, Ivy, sure, I bring this right back under, and I'm in the tight position right here, right here. Real quick. Back down again. Head here, feet back here. So let's review one more time. Casey Gatami, scarf hold down. Okay. I want to get this, relax. I want to get this knee up high. My body is in contact, no space in here. Pulling up, pulling up. My feet are out, hand under. Here, I'm going to put it right here for Ivy. Now, if she bumps me this way, one of my heads down, I'm going to bring it up and pull back to negate an attack that way. If she sits up, I have my back foot. If she tries to pull this arm out, pull this arm out, Ivy. I, I, I'm just going to pull, pull the pressure here. She can't. You know, she grabs both hands around my waist, grabs my belt, and takes me that way. I come up, I pull, and I put this hand. Try to take me this way, Ivy. Try to take me that way. Boom, boom, no, both hands around me. Both hands around me. I have this here and I'm pulling back and then I go right back into Kesa Katami. And ultimately, our hold down, we want it ear on her forehead and we're always pulling the pressure over here. All right, sit back up, you okay? <laughs> okay, so hopefully we be able to understand that. No, I mean, it's a little smaller, it's hard for her to pull me over and push me, but she did a great job today. So, review. Nawaza means what, Ivy? Ground techniques. How many categories are there? Three. Shimiwaza is what? Shimiwaza? Cho. Cho. Konsetsu waza? Arm locks. Osaikomi waza? What does that mean? What are Osaikomi waza techniques? Pinning techniques. And today's pinning technique is, was called what, Ivy? Mean? Kesa Kutami, which means a scar. Hold down. So, so we're pretty much week five, guys. All my students out there, keep working. Um, try to do some homework, guys. Uh, every every once a couple, you know, a couple times a week, study the videos. I'm going to be doing a workout today after this. Hopefully, I'll post it for you guys. Uh, any questions, comments? Please uh, write me. I can hopefully have time to answer.